Thomas, how's the mood in the camp after that victory over Leeds on Monday? Ah, of course. <clears throat> Very good. Um, Everyone was pleased with, with a good result and a, and a very good performance in many areas. Um, also, after been looking the game back, I think we still had a well-deserved win. I think our defensive side of it was um, bang on, high pressure, counter-pressing, defending low, defending the box. Um, checked all those areas, all those boxes. Um, so that's pleased, clean sheet, um, all that. And then two, two very good goals. Um, so the only little picky thing could be that I would like us to be even better on the ball. Um, and we need to, to improve that, that side of it. Um, but also to understand that uh, this game was different in the way they pressed. Press different compared to a lot of other teams in the, in the division. Uh, so of course we could have adapted even better. But overall, top, top, top. Yeah, and you've spoken a lot about defensive man mentality over the past few months. How pleasing was that clean sheet and, and the performance? Yeah, that's very pleasing because I think <laughs> that is the mentality, attitude and um, tactical skills we need to show every single game. And we, we've been speaking about this for, I would say, since November or something like that. or. Uh, that we need to improve this area and we have improved it no doubt about that but you don't do it like overnight so there will be games where we're inconsistent because it's not ingrained yet uh, 100% uh, but but this was a, a good step forward. Yeah, is there a sense of frustration at all that comes with a performance like that because you've shown exactly what you're capable of against a team right at the top of the table it's mm -hmm. just about you know, putting those performances out on a consistent basis. Yeah, it? yeah, no frustration because I think it's also we need to look at ourselves and see what can we what can we improve, what can we do better, and that's one of the areas we can do better and be more consistent at. Uh, so no doubt about our top level, our top performance level. I think we are between top three or four in division on on our day. Uh, but the big thing is the consistency that we should be much much more consistent. Uh, in the way we perform. Um, so that's the big target to improve going into next season. Mm, and a very different challenge ahead on Saturday against Bolton, whose relegation was confirmed last week. What kind of test are you expecting from that? Uh, of course, I think they will do everything they can to finish well in the last home game of the season to uh, to show that they have um, give, can give something back to the fans. Uh, so we, we know... <laughs> I know it's a different test, but every test in this division, this championship is, is difficult. So I expect it to be difficult, but I also expect us to be up there and show what we showed. At, it definitely the last two games we showed we definitely want to have a point to prove the, the rest of the season. And um, we want to continue on a high, so we just need to, to be there, make sure we are switched on. That's, that's the key. Mm, it's fair that there was national attention on the Leeds game. Probably fair to say that won't be the case at Bolton on Saturday. Is it harder to get those same levels and performance out of the players when, when it's a lesser occasion, shall we say? I, it shouldn't be, but all of us know it's easier when there's a lot of circumstances from the outside uh, making attention or pressure or focus that always give a, a lift. Uh, but I think if you don't have that motivation from yourself and every day to go and do your best, then you are not a top top player. So that's that's the thing we need to uh, to go for, uh, to, to look through, uh, look f uh, forward to, to have that self motivation every single time for every player, for every staff staff member that need to go there and um, make sure you perform. Any fresh injury concerns ahead of this one? Um, nope. No, no. No, you expect to see Johan before the end of the year, or is uh, it could be potentially. Yeah, he was. He's getting closer now. He had a, a full week of training, so um, so let's see. So it's four points from two games. How important is it to extend this run and, and finish? Yeah, we we need to. Uh, we want to finish on a high. Uh, it would be nice to have a to finish the season with a an away win. Uh, we hadn't been had the best record, but uh, we like to do anything we can to have that win, and then continue into the last home game against Preston. And how much of an incentive is it to do it for those fans who have got to travel up and down? Massively. We, I praise them every single time. There was 2,000 for Reading. I think there are more than 1,000 against Millwall. I know it's more locally, but uh, no, no. We, we're really pleased with all the fans that are going to travel and, and support us.